An inquiry was held today to examine the case of King Charles's lifelong friend, who was equerry to the Queen Mother. He died after becoming caught between his bed and a wall while intoxicated. According to a coroner's court, Ian Farquhar, 78, was discovered dead at home, his legs raised above his bedside table. The retired army captain, who enjoyed hunting and horses, was likely attempting to get out of bed, according to a coroner's ruling. Mr. Farquhar advanced through the military ranks to become a captain in the Queen's own Hussars, a distinguished cavalry regiment. He also attended public appearances with the Queen's mother while serving in the army as her equerry. He would drink a liter of gin and a couple of bottles of wine in a day, according to his daughter Victoria. He served as the master of the Beaufort Hunt, one of the biggest and most prestigious fox hunts in the United Kingdom after leaving the army. He also frequently had dinner with King Charles and Queen Camilla at their home in Highgrove, Gloucestershire. According to testimony given during the inquest, Mr. Farquhar suffered from health issues in the final years of his life. He was unable to get himself up after falling and needed a walking stick because he was shaky on his feet. When Cara Beth Gillingham arrived for Mr. Farquhar's daily visit on March 6th of this year, she shouted out to him as she entered his house near Chippenham, Wilts, but she received no answer. When she walked up to the bedroom, Ms. Gillingham was unable to see the former huntsman until she peered over the side of the bed and noticed that he was wedged between his bed and the wall. After checking for a pulse and failing to locate one, the carer alerted the police, who arrived at the scene shortly after 1 p.m. and declared Mr. Farquhar dead. Mr. Farquhar's blood alcohol level was 4.5 times over the drink-drive limit at the time of his death, according to the inquest held at Salisbury Coroner's Court in Wilts. Two empty wine bottles, a half-empty bottle of whiskey, and an empty bottle of Gordon's gin were discovered at Mr. Farquhar's house. The coroner also accepted the pathologist's cause of death, which was postural asphyxia, body inversion, and alcohol toxicity. Victoria, Mr. Farquhar's daughter, made a statement during the inquest describing his love of horses, but claiming that his drinking problems started during hunts. He attended Eton before enlisting in the military and attending Sandhurst, Ms. Farquhar stated. He said that he was effectively the Queen Mother's bodyguard and that he became her equerry. He had a deep affection for horses and would go on hunts with dinner afterward. We believed he had a drinking problem over time, even though the amount of drinking was deemed typical for the activity. In a single day, he would consume a liter of gin and a few bottles of wine. He did try to stop and he would for a couple of weeks. Doctors told Ian that he would die if he did not take care of himself. According to Ms. Farquhar, her father started having falls in 2022, so the family called the care organization Helping Hands, who would come by once a day for about an hour to offer Mr. Farquhar company and help. As Mr. Farquhar's primary caretaker, Stuart White developed a strong relationship with him. In a statement to the inquest, he said that although Mr. Farquhar would talk about his past, he missed being able to take care of dogs and horses. Mr. White stated, We frequently had longer visits, but I only went once a day for an hour. He enjoyed talking, and my job was to do normal cleaning and to see how he was doing. He relaxed over time, and we shared jokes and laughter. Ian would frequently share his background with me. Ian loved caring for dogs and horses, but he had times when he was depressed because he couldn't do what he wanted to do. According to the inquest, Mr. White was on yearly leave when Mr. Farquhar died, but he went to the residence to talk to the police after the agency notified him of his passing. Area Wiltshire Coroner it is likely that Mr. Farquhar moved off the bed in a deliberate act, but he had not intended to die. Ian Singleton wrote in his judgment of death by misadventure. According to Mr. Singleton, Ian lived alone at Church Cottage, had a history of excessive drinking, had become unstable, and required help rising off the ground. A carer discovered Ian dead on the morning of March 6th with his feet in the air over the bedside table, between his bed and the wall. Although it's unknown how he got there, it seems to have been the consequence of a conscious action on his side that unintentionally killed him. I offer my deepest sympathies to the family for their loss.